So we're going to read Start Off on the Right Paw by Denise Fleck. So this is actually the second book in the series. I thought it would be a good one because a lot of people are adopting dogs or fostering dogs from shelters right now. And that's really good this time uh, to try and give those animals a good home when we're all at home to be with them. But it's very important to make sure that when you're adding a new furry family member to your family, that they get along well with those that you already have. So start off on the right paw and tell us a little bit about how to introduce a new animal to the ones that you have at home. So the knees flex, start off on the right paw. And we know her, so she actually signed her book. Emmy, Claire yelled from across the park. Rex is getting a sister. What, when, how? Mary Alice, long for Emmy, returned the squeal. My mom volunteers at the animal shelter and said we can adopt a dog who has been there for six months waiting for a home, Claire replied. Why has she been there for six long months, Emma questioned. She's seven years old and a breed that some people think wrongly is aggressive. Just like people misjudge Rexy, adopt seekers sadly assume this dog is too old or too strong. They haven't taken the time to know the canine underneath the fur coat, Claire explained. I'm glad I learned not to judge a book by its cover and adopted Mr. Rico from the shelter instead of buying a puppy mill dog from a pet store, said Emma. Mr. Rico is her um, older Labrador. We're bringing Rex to the shelter to meet his maybe sister to see if they like each other. Want to come, Claire asked? You bet, Emma replied. We don't know her name since she was found roaming the streets, but I've been calling her bonsai since she's a Japanese Akita, Claire's mom told the girls. Akitas are very loyal, said Mary Alice proudly. I've been reading the The Breed book you gave me, Claire, she smiled. You're right, Akitas are also strong and willful. They need an owner who will take charge, Claire's mom continued. You should never judge a dog by its breed or its age, but every family must choose a dog that's best fit their ability to care for that dog for its whole life. Like if you hike, you can get an athletic dog. But if you prefer video games, an older and less active one would be a better choice, Emma asked. That's the idea, Claire's mom laughed. But there are other things to consider. For instance, you have to brush a long-coated dog daily, like Doxy here. And if you live in an apartment, you'll need a quiet pet that won't disturb the neighbors when you aren't home. Speak. So he can be very loud sometimes, but at least he only does it when I tell him mostly. <laughs> if your little brother has allergies, you need to choose a dog that doesn't shed so much. And if your grandma comes for visits, you must take the time to train your dog not to knock her over. But we've done with these guys. I get it. You don't just pick the cutest puppy. To make sure you are really giving a doggy a good loving forever home while keeping all the humans happy too, you need to learn about the dog's personality and needs before choosing the best match for your family and for the dog. Mary Alice Bean. At the shelter, Emma thought, it looks the same, but I see it so differently than when I first came here to meet Mr. Rico. The noise and smell bothered me then. But now I wish I could take all the dogs home, give them baths, and let them play with my best buddy. Claire's mom and the kennel attendant smiled. We do need volunteers to bathe the dogs. A clean dog looks happier and is more likely to get adopted, the kennel attendant suggested. Oh, mom, could we? asked Claire excitedly. 
Let me talk with Mary Alice's mom. It would be great for you girls to do community service, but it's a big responsibility, Claire's mom said. As they waited in the shelter play yard with Rex, an older white canine bounded in, pulling the attendant at the other end of the leash. Bonsai wagged her corkscrew tail, happy to be out of her small kennel. Looks like I'm going to teach Bonsai to walk nicely on the leash like Rex does, Claire said. The kennel attendant instructed the girls on how to walk Rex, alongside but not letting him greet Bonsai at first. If two dogs don't start off on their right paw, it can be difficult to make them like each other, she explained. If they listen to our commands and remain calm, we will let them sniff and officially get acquainted. They're behaving bow wow wonderfully, exclaimed Mary Alice. Yes, they are, smiled the kennel attendant. But keep an eye on them. Make sure they each have their own space and receive equal attention from all of you while both sides settles in. Oh, Mom, Claire rolled her eyes. We get it. Though, we need to make sure to be cautious, and it might take time. Claire's mom reminded the girls, you're putting two strangers together and asking them to live in peace. What if I made you move in with one of those girls you two gossip about and they're expecting you to get along? After a long walk to tire the dogs out, they all walked into the house together. Claire gave both canines cookies and showed bonsai to her bowl and bed. Watch their body language, girls. If they get their hackles up, lower their tails, stare at each other, or begin to growl, stay calm, stay firm. Say a firm no and alert me at once, Claire's mom ordered. What are hackles, Mary Alice asked. The hair on their back and their neck, when it puffs up, it could mean they're upset, whispered Claire. Bonsai curled up on her bed while Mary Alice stroked her fur. I can't wait for Mr. Rico to meet you, Lady Bonsai, she said. Lady Bonsai, Claire's mom smiled. That's the perfect name for our regal girl. The next morning, Emma appeared on Claire's doorstep with Mr. Rico. Rex greeted him at the door with his usual waggy butt wag. The bonsai uttered, uttered a low growl and her hackles went up. Calmly, but with a sense of urgency, Claire's mom suggested, Mary Alice, why don't you and Mr. Rico meet us at the park? The dogs must be introduced on neutral turf like you did at the shelter. She grabbed her pet first aid kit and off they went. Bonsai felt threatened by Rico entering her new home, Claire's mom explained. Let's do this right and walk Rico alongside her like you did with Rexy. Mr. Rico whimpered anxiously to meet the lady dog. Bonsai remained quiet while watching Claire's mom who had the cookies. Good. Now put Rico in a sit and I'll bring Bonsai over. Mr. Rico's tail thumped the ground with excitement. The dogs were then allowed to sniff circling each other. Bonsai appeared cautious, but all remained friendly. Claire's mom breathed a sigh of relief. In love and continued training, Bonsai is going to grow into a wonderful friend, not only to us, but to Rex, Rico, and other dogs too. It is so important that people and dogs start off on the right foot, or right paw for that matter. They followed the dogs around the park, sniffing and playing when suddenly Rex squealed, and began rubbing his nose frantically on the grass. What's the matter, boy? asked a concerned Claire. I think he got stung by a bee, shrieked Mary Alice. No. Well, your mommy, Doxy, got stung by a bee one time. That was terrible. Calm, girls. Hold the other dogs while I take a look, Claire's mom instructed. She gently held Rex's face in her hands. Observing the swelling, then requested several items out of the pet birth aid kit. Rexy weighed 55 pounds last week at the right, right, Claire, she asked. Right, Mom, Claire responded. You need to know your dog's weight to give him the correct dose of medicine, she informed Mary Alice. This is going to make our fellow sleepy, Claire's mom whispered as she gently pushed pills onto the back of Rex's tongue and made him drink water. Claire, you'll need to hold an occult pack on his face to stop the swelling. Well, Mary Alice and I watched the other dogs. How's Rexy doing? Emma asked at school the next day. 
That was so cool how your mom knew to fix him up. I didn't know she was a vet. He's fine, Claire replied, but she's not silly. She just knows a lot about pet safety. She teaches pet first aid and CPR classes so that people can help their pets before they can get to the veterinarian. I want to learn, Mary Alice said excitedly. I'd do anything to make Rico feel better if he got sick or hurt. As they walked home that afternoon, Claire's mom pulled alongside them. I just came from your house, Mary Alice. Your mom and I think it would be awesome if you girls volunteered at the animal shelter. Awesome possum, the blonde haired girl yelled joyfully. Can you also teach us pet first aid? The end. That was pretty good. We have four doggies in our home. And we had to do the same thing to introduce them to each other to make sure that they got along. See you later. Bye. Bye.